So let's go into our Wuji stance. Feet about shoulder width apart. Facing comfortably forward. Knees just slightly bent. Bring the hips forward so the tailbone points towards the floor. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Bring the chin down and in just a bit. Let the shoulders come down and roll forward, bring the arms slightly in front, away from the body. Breathing in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in, let the abdomen expand outward, drawing the breath all the way down. And then we do a slight pause. And with the exhalation, the abdomen contracts back towards the spine, pushing the breath up and out. And a slight pause again before the next inhalation. Bring your focus to the breath. Let all your other thoughts fade away. A nice long deep breaths. Now bring your attention to your feet. Feel them making contact with the earth. Connecting all the way down to the center of the earth. Feel that pull tying you, connecting you. Feel the earth rising up to support you, merging with you. aware of that sense of being a part of the earth, just like a giant tree, sending your roots deep into the earth. more nice, deep, slow breaths. Let's just step out a bit, a little wider stance. Bring your left hand up in front of your chest, palm out, right hand behind you. We're gonna do a nice, easy twist here. We're just gonna turn from the waist, leaving the hands exactly where they are, slowly turning, feeling the turns start in the lower spine, working its way all the way up into the upper. 
And now push with the left hand and push the opposite direction with the right hand. And then look over the shoulder and get a little further around. Relax, breathe in as you come back slowly to the center. Let's do that again. So slowly, breathing out, turn to the side. Looking at that hand until it can't go any further. And then pushing the hand away, looking over the shoulder. And then coming back to the center. One more time. Back to center and switch hands. Nice and slow. Focus on that hand first, go around as far as you can. Push out with the hand while you look over the shoulder. Come back to the center. And again. One more time, back to center. Last one. Back to center. Good. Bring your left hand up. Push and turn, and a nice easy flow, the right hand comes across the face and then it pushes. Breathing in as you come to the center. Breathing out as you push to the sides. more time each side. Go ahead, come back to center. Using your hips, just let your arms go forward and back. I'm not as much lifting my arms as kind of throwing them up in the air and just letting them fall back down. Keeping a slight bend in the elbow, but otherwise letting the whole arm move in the shoulder socket. Couple more. And slow it down. Just kind of let them settle all by themselves. But go even to a little wider stance. 
We're gonna shift our weight side to side. And as we do, we're gonna throw our arms up and back slightly. So again, using very little effort to lift the arms, we're using the momentum of the body, shifting of the weight. Looking up and back. And let it slow down and come to a stop. Got some nice shoulder rolls here. So up the back, forward, and then down the front. Let's accentuate it by turning the palms outward. And then turning the palms in. So we're rotating the entire arm as well as the shoulders. One more time around and then we're going to reverse, come up the front, down the back. Open the chest as you go back. Let the arms hang so that you're doing it all out of the shoulders. So it's not this, it's just letting the arms hang and out of the shoulders. Much better. Good. Good. Now alternate. And reverse. Allowing the hips to also go in a figure eight. Small figure eight. And slow it down. Hands down, thumbs down and back. Turn the entire arm back as you look over your right shoulder. Get a nice little stretch here. Now bring the thumbs forward and then back as we look over the opposite shoulder. Just hold that for a moment. And then come back to the center and then look again over the right shoulder. I'm gonna make it move a little bit quicker this time so it's all with the breath. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in back to the center. Breathe out as we turn. One more time each side. Good. Settle for a moment. Scoop up energy, bring it into the chest, bring it over to the left shoulder, palms facing the head. Look at that outer palm. Now we're going to look away as we turn the palms away and we're going to push with the heels of the hands, pulling the fingers back slightly. 
feeling that stretch coming all the way down the arm. We breathe in, we look back at that palm coming at us, we pause, we breathe out, we look away and push away. One more time. We breathe in, we bring it into the chest, bring it down to the ground. Bring up fresh energy, the right shoulder. Push away and look away. Breathe in, bring those palms back at you and looking at it. Breathe out, push away, look away. One more time. Bring it into the chest. Breathe in, breathe out as you push it down to the ground. Good, bring your hands to your hips. Hip circles. Try not to move the head. Try to have it all come out of the hips. One more time around, then we're going to reverse opposite direction. Let's slow it down, come to a stop. Waist circles, we're going to lean forward and to the side, slightly back then to the opposite side and then forward again. As with all the postures, keep the circles and movement only as far and as big as you can comfortably. You should never experience pain or discomfort if you do limit the motion. One more time around and reverse opposite direction. One more time, round to the front. Let's do a couple from Ji Jin Jing. Let's do grabbing or turning nine cows around by their tails. So we're going to step forward with our right foot, go into the bow stance of the back leg. The right leg is basically at a 45 degree angle, the left foot is straight forward. We're going to reach out. We're going to lean forward 
putting a little more weight into the left leg. We're going to grab the tails. And then as we do, we're going to pull them into our hips and turn. So we reach out and then we turn towards the right leg. Breathe in as you go out, breathe out as you pull it in. Now switch. So as you're pulling in, pull into the left leg. One more time. Good. Switch legs. So right foot forward, left foot back. Slight separation between them. We don't want to be in close. We want to be far enough that we're nice and stable. We're going to reach forward. We're going to pull. We're going to let's do a couple. We're going to the outside, going to left. Good, one more. Good, now keep going, but this time turn to the right. You're feeling that lower back, the hips all loosening up. One more time. Good. Let's do nine ghosts drawing swords. So we're going to bring our right hand behind us, supporting the head. So the thumb and first finger are on the neck, the other hands are supporting the skull. The left hand comes behind you in the main men point, just below the small of the back, palm out. Switch so we can mirror you. We're going to follow with our eyes. The elbow goes up and back as we twist. So we're not bending over at all. A little bit of a twist here. And then as we come down and across the body, come down as low as comfortable. So you can stay rather shallow. Breathe in as we come up across, pause, breathe out, or you can dip down and almost try to touch the elbow or the knee. Breathe in, breathe out. Make sure you're contracting your abdominal muscles. Nice and taut. Stabilizing core. One more time. Come on up, switch hands. Look 
we follow the elbow up and back, and across and down. One more time. Good, come on up. Put the hands on the hips this time. We're gonna do figure eights with the hips. So really focus on the elbow, because I kind of, you see the figure eight as the elbow starts forward and goes back and then you switch to the opposite side. One more time and then we're gonna reverse. So now the elbow starts in the back and goes towards the front, sort of like skating backwards. Slow it down. Slow it down. Couple more. Good. I'll do a stop. Let's do stepping over a rock. The whole idea here is we're going to open the quad. Let's first actually let's tap the quad. So with an open fist, up and down the leg crease. Let's stimulate that area, opening up the leg gates. Before we go into stepping over a rock, we're going to actually do a little more tapping, I think. Good. Tap from the hip to the spine all along the glute muscle here, not hitting on muscle. Open fist, Just feel those vibrations. Couple more. Good. Using the back of your hands, the knuckles, tap up and down either side of the spine. You can either alternate or you can do them together. It doesn't really matter. more and come to a stop turn to your palms now are on both sides and just rub up and down uh, 
Now come up the spine around to the rib cage, the side. So you're turning like a circle now. Steve, what points yeah. are on your ribs down low there on the sides? What do you mean, what points? Do you mean the acupressure points? Yeah, because that's always really tender on me. Um, I'd have to look at a chart. Okay, no uh, problem. That's okay. Um, along the hips, you're looking at uh, the ladder mostly. The ladder points. but definitely get in there and massage them if they're tender, uh, tapping and massaging. Let's tap down on the outside of the leg. Let's do it a little slower than usual. Staying on muscle, just work your way down. And then do it again. Last time. Good. Let's do on the inside up. Three times, same thing, kind of slow, take your time. Come all the way to the quad and then drop back down. Last time. As long as we're doing that, let's massage liver three. So you're going to go between the big toe and the next toe in, all the way up into the V. And so you basically can't go any further. It's going to be a little sensitive. It's about an inch from the webbing. And we can do both at the same time. We can just kind of put our thumbs in there and massage in there. Just breathe, relax. Good. Just a couple more. And relax. All right, let's do stepping over the stone. So we're going to lift the leg in front of us. Then we're going to open the quad, still facing forward, and then put it down. Then we're going to lift the leg bring it around back, closing the clock, then switch to the opposite side. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time, each side. Good. A couple of just nice, easy hip rotations. Just help loosen everything up. Reverse.
Good. Let's reach around to the spine of both fingers, both hands. Pull around to the opposite hip three times. Twice. Three times, then down the leg and off the toe. And we switch to the opposite side. Working with the clearing the daimai, the belt channel. One, two, three, down and off. Again, switch one, two, three, down and off. One, two, three, down and off. Good. Let's just do a nice, simple, not so simple, but a nice flow. It's seemingly simple, but you've got to kind of work at it to get it just right. We're just going to let our wrists kind of float up with the breath and then they sink back down. So as you breathe in, they come up. We pause, breathe out as they settle down. The idea here is to try and get to the point where you feel like the wrists are carrying the rest of the arm and the hands upward. And it's the breath that's doing it. It's not requiring any muscles on your part. Now, as you come up, just shift a little bit of the weight in the heels as you go down, a little bit of the weight into the toes. So you're rocking back and forth a little bit. Notice that also kind of aids in allowing the hands just float upward, the wrists float upward, and then just to sink down. I like to imagine I'm in a pool, perhaps not even water, perhaps oil. Somebody attaches a string to my wrists with a cork, and the cork just pulls the wrists up nice and easy. Then they cut the strings and they settle back down very slowly. Through this viscous fluid. And as the hands float up, see if you can feel a little resistance on the back of the fingers. And as they go down your fingertips, feel that resistance. It's like running your hands up and down a waterfall. Feel that energy activated in your palms. Fingertips. more time and then we're going to bring him closer to the body. We're going to go down and let him rise up closer to the body and then go out. Back in and down. So it comes up, the hips go back, the hands go out. The hips come forward, the hands come back to the body and down. Breathe in. Breathe in. 
breathe out and breathe out. more time and then we're going to add one more move to this. We're going to come up, we're going to go out, we're going to come back to the body now to the sides, back into the body, down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. Openings to six directions. And try to make this as effortless as possible. time and we're going to change it up a little. This time we're going to come up, we're going to go out. But then as we come back, we're going to go round and down. Come up, forward, go down. Brace the tiger, return to the mountain. One more time. Good. Step out to a little wider stance. So enough that you can bend down. We're going to bend down. Back of the hands almost touch. Come up the midline into the chest. Breathing in. Pause. Breathe out as you go back down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's out. Try to feel, visualize that energy coming up through the soles of your feet, up the legs, up the torso, into the chest, and then taking whatever energy that no longer serves you, that you no longer need, sending it back into the ground to be recycled. One more time. Very 
the hands down. Bring the feet fairly close together. Interlace the fingers, except for the index finger. Reach upward. And then put it behind your head on the neck as you bend down. The arrow. One more time. Good. Step out just to our shoulder width a little bit more. Turn the palms down. Bring the energy down. Bring it up. Back of the hands. Then turn to the right and sweep down. Back to the center, turn to the left, breathing in, breathing out. One more time each side. Good, bring down the heavens. Breathe in, gather the energy. Breathe out, push it down the body. Price me. We're going to finish with your right hand palm up below the belly button. Left hand scoops out, thumb and first finger separate. And the thumb facing the body slowly drifts down. You get to the bottom and we switch. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Close your eyes and see if you can feel and visualize the energy coming out of that gap between the thumb, or thumb and the first finger. It's called the tiger's mouth. So you can feel where the hand is in relation to the body by the energy coming out of the tiger's mouth. Centering, balancing the energies of the three Dantians, the upper Dantian and the forehead, the middle Dantian and the chest, the lower Dantian and the abdomen. One more time each side.
You can finish with one palm over the other, doesn't matter which one, by either interlacing the webbing of the thumbs or holding at the wrist. Try to feel the energy coming out of the palms, filling the abdomen, the abdomen soaking up that energy. You'll feel the abdomen getting warmer, perhaps colder. You feel tingling. Now let that energy spiral down your legs and up your torso. Just let your body relax, rock and sweat. The energy move your body as it dispels the darkness, any energetic stagnation or blockages, removing negative thoughts and emotions. So every part of your body is filled with this glorious loving energy. Now allow that energy to expand outward, encasing you in a protective cocoon. And while you float weightlessly inside this cocoon, become aware of what it feels like to be safe. be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath and gather those energies, those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.